everybody, it is Milbro here with uh, part of my long haul series. This is a big building project I've done that I wanted to do for a while. So, and uh, those of you who might be part of uh, Call of Duty and you have know, been around for Call of Duty in a while may recognize it, the final product. And I'm here to answer the question for you. Can you, uh, what, how would uh, Nocturne and Toten from Call of Duty Zombies translate into Seven Days to Die Legacy version? So starting off here, you're, the footage you're watching is uh, all my footage that I've done uh, over the course of two in-game weeks and a couple days extra. And so those of you, if you're watching from uh, uh, this and you're not familiar with Seven Days to Die, you might be from Call of Duty Zombies or Call of Duty in general, or anywhere else, you may be thinking like, okay, how long is that? The You can set the days to however long you want, but I would typically run 60 minutes for a full day cycle. So that's basically, so basically it takes me one whole day to, well, one whole hour in real life to do this. So putting this into perspective, it took me about, well, about 15 and a half hours to <laughs> do all this, and and uh, I didn't record some parts because uh, I record on a PS5. I do all this uh, for myself, you know, like with uh, Share Factory on a PlayStation 5, and 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 if I'm thinking correctly, the 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 rate at this of uh, I just sped up is so I can only speed it up till max of about. Uh, eight times speed. So, and then I took it and so I sped all the footage up to eight times speed. And then I, and then I took all the clips and then threw them into, uh, took them and uh, threw them in the time bender again for another eight times speed. That's just putting this into context for you, hey, folks. Like, uh, this is a probably, if I'm thinking correctly, 64 times speed and, uh, this is also kind of just, you know, those of you who may view Seven Days to Die, you know, for me on the Legacy version here. I did the Horde Knights separately. Well, I did the Horde Knights, uh, just wanted to go through this, uh, project. So this, uh, you're seeing, like, uh, you know, I'm at a pet, you know, just kind of cleaning it up and everything. This was supposed to be, originally, Darius, we call these zombies, the first map to have the back punch. And, uh, but it was, but I decided it was way too big of a building project. It would take me way too much time. That was what to invest. Uh, so I decided to go with Nocturne Toten. But this still took me way longer than expected. Knocking down the gas station that you're seeing right now is, it's like, that didn't take too long, but it was, it's like really where it came into play was like, uh, making all the concrete necessary. And for those uh, who are not familiar with concrete on uh, Seven Days, uh, you have to smelt stone into the... You have to gather your resources, basically get stone, and then you know, like sand, and then you have to smelt stone into a forge to make cement powder, and then you take stone, sand, and cement powder, and then refine it into concrete mix. That's the biggest part of waiting on that to make and then crafting the blocks that's that was the biggest part of this but um some may ask why i decided to build a doctor and toad and on the legacy version of seven days it's it's all i have really like you know i said i do these recordings on a playstation 5 and i don't have access to a pc it's a little bit of a um how do i say yeah you know, I'm limited. So it's like, I would do this on PC, and I actually plan on doing a version 2 of Noct on PC. And so, you know, I really want to do that and, you know, go in more detail. And one thing you'll notice is uh, I will have, like, just kind of a, a walk through the building just without any commentary whatsoever. You know, just let you hear the end game sounds, just let you witness the building. It's like, I tried my best to recreate knocked 
keep in mind, I'm in survival mode. It's like have to. I that's how I set up the world, and you occasionally you'll see me go through the world settings real quick just to. I turned to I turn I can turn down block durability to 25%, and I did that to make gathering resources easier, getting you know just make it less of a pain and take be less time consuming. Because like every second you spend like doing a build, building project like this, and you want to record it, it really adds up. It's a and so it's like it's a make it zero cheating in the 70s community. It's like to me, it's like I really don't care. It's one of those, I would rather save myself a whole bunch of time and, you know, try and loosen up my uh, my uh, sanity loss on it. But, yeah, you, know, you can see some of the Horde Knight, you know, it's like I did die a few times. Of, I admit I'm not the best. But it, it's really no biggie to me. It's a, but, you know, back to the reason why of seven days, you know, building Knocked on this version. It's just like, I really wanted to build a, you know, Kind of, you know, just just keep myself occupied till uh, till the new version of Seven Days releases on 1.0. But um, a bit of backstory on me is like I used to play I Call of Duty Zombies a lot. It's a big part of um, in my childhood, I'll say. And you know, I started with World at War. You know, did you know a lot of um, you know. Played Nocturne Toten has a very special place in my heart. It's a, as well as it's the original uh, zombies map in Call of Duty. It is a, it is one hell of a map. It's like you know, it it may be simple, but it's you know, it, you know, it, all it really was was supposed to be a bonus level to the campaign. Like that's all zombies really started out as. And um, even though I don't do Call of Duty zombies content, I am, I absolutely. I love playing zombies from time to time, especially on my PlayStation 3. You know, go back to World at War occasionally, or Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. Yeah, you know. pay her the uh, pay pay the old zombies a uh, good visit. And, you know, play play a few games and have my fun. And you can see them just kind of do a lot of framing work. And it's like you just try to get the get the general look of knocked and. You know, trying to get it run down. It it doesn't have a lot of the furniture because I can't access it in survival mode. I can and if you're someone from Call of Duty watching this and you're wondering why not just switch it to like creative like Minecraft or is a creative mode, I can't do that. It's like once I lock into survival or creative, I can't do that in the in the game settings. It's like it won't let me. And so it's like if I did this in creative, it would probably look a bit better, but it's one of those, it's a, it's a, I'm working with my resources that I have, and, you know, decided to do this, and it's kind of was, open. I wanted to have the satisfaction of building a building like this, uh, this is massive in terms of resources for me, it's, uh, it's really big, and I really, but I really enjoy doing this, it's, well, it's just kind of, well, pay homage to what what really got me into zombie survival games and and you know what got me in here and you know if you're a Call of Duty player watching this it's like yo yo you played like uh, zombies and everything like that and you're wondering what uh, you know, like this basically you know like especially if you kind of looking at knocked itself like thinking like it kind of just like you you look like you're building kind of like a Minecraft mine it seven days to die is an old game. It's been around on PC since 2013, and it's been around for a long time. It has been... It is one of the most popular survival games out there is... And even on this version, which is the PS4 slash Xbox One version, it, there is no other game I like this. And, uh... It's one of those that may seem like it's just Minecraft with zombies and guns, but it's a lot more than that. It truly allows you to kind of go into survival, and it's like, uh, especially if you check out the PC version, which soon to be a 1.0. Like, uh, it's been, it's uh, it's incredible to see where it's come from. And it's really more than just you know a sort of Minecraft-like. I'll say, it's really honestly 
one of those games you can get it too if you, especially if you like zombies and you really want to have like a a zombie survival game that's open world. The, even this version is incredible and it does get a little boring after a while, but I do recommend it to you. It's a if you want something like an open world sandbox, but with like you know that's sort of like Minecraft, but kind of more real look real looking even though the graphics on this version are not up to they're they're not uh up to 2024 standards we'll say like modern standards but it's still not a bad looking game and you really won't find anything else like on the market uh this i will say though this version will be delisted soon like in july you know 2024 you know once the new version releases for PS5 too, and I don't know why, but if you if you are a Call of Duty player and you want to pick up this game because you like the look of it, uh, I will tell you that uh, the the zombies are well. You can still find disc versions of it, which I, even especially in this uh, market, I highly recommend that you go and pick up a legacy version, like yo know, disc it just to have a hard copy. I've done it for myself just so if I ever decide to come back and make more content on this, you know, I can uh, no matter what, and you know, it's one of those try to preserve the game. I highly recommend people try to buy it as if possible, but you know, and I will warn those of you, if you do get inspired to play this version of the game on console, you know, on, you know, please be warned. Take this from me. I am a yeah. I have like over 600 hours, and I still die a fair amount in the game. Like, and on this world save, I have like over 20 deaths. Like, like uh, it's not. It's one of those. I'm not uh, mad about it, but it's like this game. This game holds no uh, punches, and it will. It will, you know, absolutely make you. Uh, make you rage if you if you're not used to it. It can be very tough, but it's kind of one of those. It's you know, kind of the classic uh, get good and don't you know don't don't die. It's like yo, know, it just it takes getting used to. But there are also zombie dogs in the game, which uh, I will warn those of you if you're new to it and you decide to. It is very you know, like the be careful of dogs. Uh, on this version in particular, because they are quite deadly. They're they're fast and they're they're crazy, like uh, fast, like uh, and they also kind of tend to circle around a lot. And they and the aiming is it's not the most horrendous thing on the planet. But I want you to know, like there is a bit of dead zone, and it's like if you try to use like a sniper rifle in this game, it is it can be really hard hit stuff. But, you know, we're coming up on the little walkthrough of Knock, you know, the building's just getting finished up in the time lapse here, so I'm going to uh, let you guys listen to the time lapse, and I'm going to, uh, in my commentary here, so I hope you, you just let me walk through it, and I hope you enjoy the video, whether you're a 7 Days or Call of Duty fan, have a great day.